それでも人とコーラの可能性に目を向けず私たちを根絶しようと言うのですね Hey, how are we doing? Tom's here, and welcome back to some more Armor Core 6 boss guide. Today, we are going to be taking on Air. And yeah, here's my build for the fights. Here are my OS tuning for it. If you guys are curious. And yeah, let's get into the attack breakdown. So, I want to start off with this slash attack. The way to dodge that, it's when there's that moment of pause, that's when you want to dodge back, okay? And she can do this. She can do one swing, uh, one swing, uh, back up, or she does something else, and then two swings, back up, or three swings, back up, or four swings. It's it's random. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's the annoying thing about this fight here. So uh, the the slash attacks are not consistent. See, that's three swings right there, and there you go, the fourth swing. As to the other ones where it was just, you know, two swing and she did something else. Uh, here's another variation of her melee attack. There's one where she charges up uh, this move right here. You can see her charge this up. Uh, the way to avoid that is you just hover over her. And then sometimes that will end. And sometimes it won't. She'll follow it up with this overhead thing which you can dodge by uh, dodging diagonal. Well, not diagonal. Just left side dodge. And while doing that, you can also get some shots off to down her or injure her armor. And for this red bazooka attack, the way to avoid that is you just fly straight diagonal right up. Uh, make sure you don't linger in the red uh, fire or whatever aura thing. Okay, here's the missile looking attack, the laser beam thing. Uh, if you're in the air, you can just drop down to avoid that. Or you can also choose to dodge diagonal, well not diagonal, left or right dodge to avoid that as well while strafing. Okay, here is her jet tackle thing which you can avoid by just flying straight up. Be careful because this can act as a grab if you do get hit by it. Okay, coming into phase 2 now, she has another jet move right here where she has like a bunch of clones uh, for this move the way you want to avoid it is just you just want to fly straight up and after that make sure you drop down because that laser attack if you don't drop down it will catch you okay this is what I like to call the shadow clone sword attack where she sends out two of these clones the way I like to deal with this is just rush straight in and then double shotgun to stun her and get a melee attack off right there boom power driver up the butt cheeks And I do want to mention sometimes she does have this weird combo after she does the second phase uh, jet plane attack. So after you avoid this, she likes to do this mix up where she does like something else. Sometimes she'll do the bazooka thing, sometimes she'll do the laser thing, sometimes she'll do this shadow clone sword thing. So just get prepared for it. And. This laser sweep attack is also super random. The way to avoid this is you just fly straight up. And you can also get Lana shot in uh, after she's done with the laser sweep. Okay, this is probably the most annoying attack that she can do. It's the enhanced sword swing, which can vary from one to four hits. And on top of that, there's a clone this time around in second phase that can, you know, swing right after her. So the best way to avoid I found to avoid this is the same thing you dodge back the way best way to mitigate the damage I guess if you have the AC pulse that will probably help to give you some iframe against this I'm not really sure how it works because I never use the AC pulses myself 
And yeah, that's pretty much it for the breakdowns. Let's get into the actual fights. So first thing, I like to rush in and try to get a double shotgun off. And I missed. Alright, here's the sword swing. One, two. See, she only did it twice there. And then... If she's not like swinging her freaking swords at you, just kind of strafe around and try to stay airborne as you take your shots uh, with your shotgun. And also if her shield is down, you can do a boost, rush in towards her and then do a double shotgun to stun her immediately uh, the moment you know the, the stun bar is done. Here's the four hit combos. Sometimes you can just do one swing and combo into that. Uh, the two long range swings so yeah her attacks are never consistent so it's really hard to get her to do something specific it took me like an hour just to get her to do the cross slash it's so annoying and on second phase she always starts off with this um, clone attack followed by her rush in you can just hover float back to avoid that here's the version 2 of the jet plane attack I waited a little bit and I just fly straight up to avoid that. And she'll always end it with this Kamehameha blast. Alright, so if you are if you're not no longer in the air, um dodge sideways to avoid it, okay? But if you still got like if you're still falling, then just let your AC fall. And as she launches the Kamehameha blast, you'll just straight up avoid that. And yeah, on second phase she will not have a shield anymore. So any opportunity to rush in to get a shield break, it's like if you see an opportunity, just go in. Uh, right here, that was a missed opportunity. I could have dodged that, but I was I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Alright, another clone attack. There we go. Rush in and power driver up the chin. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah, the annoying thing is that her sword attacks have so so many freaking mix-ups. That's what makes her annoying. Like she can do it once and then like just back up and just do something else like missile attacks or just keep shooting at you or whatever or clone attacks. <laughs> um that's what really threw me off for this fights. But yeah, if she's just like standing there walking around shooting at you with her gun or with the side missiles, just try to hover above her ish and then fire off your double shotgun to uh, to bring down her shield in the first phase. Second phase, you just gotta have to play a little bit more careful. Uh, if you get an opportunity, if she's just like walking or whatever, take a few shots at her. Uh, if she's swinging at you with a sword, after each dodge, you can fire off a double shotgun. Uh, so fire, and then when she swings, dodge back, dodge back, and then do a second hit. So yeah, just try to build up her stun meter for the second phase. Uh, if she leaves a huge opening, you can rush in and then do a double shotgun because that will usually bring down her shield. Or not bring down her shield, oh, usually stun her. And then you can go in for a power driver. And this is the most efficient way I found to deal with um, air here. So, yeah, hope this helps. Thank you all so very much for watching. And I hope to catch you all next time. Homes. Oops.